does this amount to justice for you, this statement today? <coughs> that would always be a little raw because justice is, you know, in my eyes, the person taking the blame and not the, the Metropolitan Police Force as a whole. But uh, at least we've got some, some submission of uh, responsibility. So, What was the greatest strain for you throughout of all this? Getting as far as we did in the criminal trial and getting a not guilty, but I'm going to try and leave that away now and move on. That still hurts, does it? More. It's tattooed on the inside of my eyelids. But, uh, you know, concentrate on the future now and forget the past. You know. And your thoughts or feelings about Simon Harwood? You know, for four and a half years, I've had a lot of hate for the, for the, for the man, and uh, I sat there the other night and diluted it and said that that's the man that has to live with it every night, go to sleep, and he knows what he done. And we do too, and so does everyone else after today and the apology. Um, as I say, he has to live with it. And how much do you blame the Metropolitan Police for allowing him back in the first place? You know, this is hard to say who was to blame and how much do we blame them because, yeah, the Met didn't do the proper checks and do what they had to do to, for him to be in the police force, but then he was the one that was responsible for his actions. So uh, I say it's 50-50, they're both to blame. I ain't going to lie, the last four and a half years, my only memories of being is the video. It's been hard to try and think of him outside of this trial. You know, so, I'm, you know, the family's going to take this time now and go back and, you know, we didn't even grieve properly for our dad. This has been, you know, the other day I said this is kind of the funeral, putting it to rest and, you know, try and move on. And time's a healer, and our time's only just starting now to heal because we've had a lot in place to take our mind away from me and to give 100%, you know. But I'm proud of what we've done and where we are today. You know, we didn't give up.